Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andrew. I'm joined by my partners Andrew and AJ. Uh, unfortunately, Farbaugh couldn't join us today, but we're going to be presenting our progress on our project titled Mastering Open Face Chinese Poker Using Self Play Reinforcement Learning. So, Open Face Chinese Poker is a variation of poker that's perfect information um, and a lot simpler than your traditional Texas Hold'em. We originally wanted to do a project on that, but we figured it was a bit too far reaching for our skill set, so we figured this was a good alternative. Um, and this project borrows from ideas of AlphaGo Zero, which is a self-play reinforcement learning agent for playing uh, Go. And we want to take those concepts to create a self-play reinforcement learning agent to beat this game. And what that means is basically we start an agent from scratch. It knows nothing besides the rules of the game. And we want to see if it can learn how to play the game and beat a, uh, beat a human player like us. Um, and so some difficulties about this game is that it's stochastic in nature. Um, and of course, one technical challenge will be the fact that we're trying to learn from scratch. Cool. Um, and basically, this, this game, like any other type of card game, we want to be able to collect more points than an opponent. Um, and I can go into more details about the game if we have time. But in terms of implementation, of course, our problem is modeled as an MDP. We're going to be using deep Q learning to find the optimal policy for our agent. And we're going to be using concepts that we've learned in this class, like bash normalization, dropout, ReLU activation, stuff like that. Um, and I guess a quick glimpse into how this would work. Essentially, in self-play and reinforcement learning, we're going to be training a, we're going to be training essentially kind of two networks at the same time. Um, but basically, we're going to have a target network that we're going to be performing our mean squared loss on. Um, and over time, at different intervals, we're going to be freezing our current model and replacing our target model with that, and then basically play against itself. Um, at the beginning, our target network is just some random network. But over time, the idea is that our network will get better. And we're going to be replaced the network with this better and better model. And over time, we'll be able to beat, uh, we'll be able to reach a, a really good agent. Some tools we're going to be using will be TensorFlow, Keras, um, and there's some really nice open source libraries for basically printing cards in a really pretty fashion in your terminal. So we're going to be using that for our gameplay UI. Awesome. Thanks.